everybody welcome to my channel this is Ravi and I am going to explain you today clinical SAS topic 48 Adam basic data structure BDS complete SAS code so we have already completed five parts this is a six part nothing but you know uh, we are continuing the code what are the variables included in a BDS related structure data set so I already covered some some variables in before five five parts and this is a six part so in this session I am going to show some more variable derivations okay so here the mock shells are showing like this so in the mock shell they are asking some criteria like systolic blood pressure greater than 160 and change from baseline greater than 10 so this is the one type of criteria the statistician wants to analysis this based on this criteria so we have to include that criterion flag in the Adam sessions Adam data sets so the programmer who is going to develop this output they can use the criterion flag and you know produce this type of outputs and here this is a one type of criteria you already seen systolic pressure greater than 160 okay so here our value is 163 for the 1001 subject so systolic BP pressure greater than 160 that subject particular record we can give as criterion flag Y in case if you see here there is a Y and there is a N so if you meet this criteria systolic blood pressure of 1 greater than 160 and change from baseline greater than 10 so if they are asking two conditions if the two conditions met then only the criterion flag is as for this criteria and here you can see the criterion 1 2 3 so many criterion flags are derived based on the outputs you know statistician suggested so many criteria in output means we have to include all these criteria and the conditions and the flags in the data set. how can we write this programmatically you know here you can see the criteria is less than 65 so round of aval less than 75 we are giving the y else uh, otherwise n so this is not the precision value so if we are containing any digits we have to give round up and we can con uh, check the condition whether it is a less than or greater than 75 and here the criterion 2 you can see less than or equal to 90 and change from baseline less than or equal to minus 20 so you can write the condition like this and here the criterion 3 greater than 200 because in the output they are mentioned these many criteria in output so we have included all these criteria in our programs here you can see criterion floor greater than 180 and change from baseline greater than or equal to 20 and in case of diastolic they are asking less than 40 and you know less than 50 and minus 15 and greater than 115 so each and every parameter they are asking individual criterions okay so here the pulse rate they are asking less than 40 and less than or equal to 50 and change from baseline minus 15 so greater than 130 these are the criterion flag pulse rate so this is the criteria flag weight so the weight change from baseline greater than less than minus 7 percent they are asking the this criteria they include this criteria into the outputs okay so in this way we have to create the criteria flag once we created the flag so in the data set you can find like this so what are the variables what are the observations containing the values the so flags and the criteria so if the criteria is there the flag should be populated as per the Adam okay so one two three four flags we created so please continue watching for remaining parts okay so if you are really interested to learn the clinical SAS real time training so you can contact the below number the course duration is 28 days one day per hour Monday to Friday we will provide all the project and I am writing the code in front of you explaining everything HGTM Adam and TLFs so if you are already having the base and advanced and clinical knowledge and if you want to learn the advanced clinical SAS interview so you can take this course this is a 10 days course one hour per day so I will give uh, real time all the interview questions related explanations so you can contact the below number for this course also thanks for watching video thanks for watching this video for more interesting SAS interview topics please subscribe my channel
Thank you.